Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic, and recently I was wondering how the different browsers at the moment compare to each other in terms of web page loading speed. So I ran a series of tests, and here are my results. <laughs> So to test the speeds, I loaded four different websites as well as the uh, SunSpider JavaScript test and I had a look and I, in for each of these websites I loaded three times and each time I cleared the cache and, and then I got the average of doing those three and yes, yeah, so I did them all around the same time just to um, uh, make sure like, you know, there wasn't spikes in internet usage or anything. Uh, but I also did speed tests just so you can see um, how fast my internet was at each time when I did the test. So we'll go through the results here, so I found that for the age, which um, was the first site I loaded, uh, Safari 5.1 was the fastest, and it was only the fastest by about 0.3 of a second to Internet Explorer 9, followed by Chrome and then followed by Firefox. This was different from the next test, however, of heraldsun.com.au, where Internet Explorer 9 was actually out in front, followed by Safari 5.1 followed by Google Chrome, and then, once again, trial by Firefox. The next site, YouTube.com, uh, was a very quick to load site, and only took about 2.4 to 3.3 seconds. Uh, and Firefox was actually faster than Chrome in this situation, uh, with Internet Explorer 9 taking out the lead in that category. Finally, Technologetic.com, I've noted uh, the first load of Technologetic.com on Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer, for some reason, took into 10 plus seconds to do it. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, but anyway, that sort of skewed off the results as you'll be able to see in the graph here. Um, yeah, so coming in first was Firefox, which loaded it all, uh, all the times consistently. Uh, and then that was followed by Chrome, followed by Safari, followed by Internet Explorer 9. So it's almost a reverse of what we saw uh, with the heraldsun.com.au. And finally, I did the speed test so you can uh, see the speed. It was They were pretty much similar, or they were exactly the same, pretty much. Um, so you can't really blame it on internet speed. And then you can look at the JavaScript speed. So the fastest JavaScript engine is obviously uh, Internet Explorer 9, followed by Safari 5.1, followed by Google Chrome, followed by Firefox. With Internet Explorer 9 and Safari 5.1, the results are very similar, uh, coming down to about 6 uh, milliseconds difference in the SunSpider JavaScript speed test. And so, being these so similar, you can simply just decide which browser you like better in terms of appearance and extensions and everything else that uh, is apart from speed. Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome, however, are lacking behind Safari 5.1 and Internet Explorer 9. Their JavaScript engines are very similar, with only 20 milliseconds difference between them. Uh, and so, once again, it comes down to extensions or whatever if you would like to use those browsers. Um, just coming off personal experience, I know Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox have the most densely populated extension communities. I'm really not sure about any extensions or themes or anything for Safari 5.1 and Internet Explorer 9. Um, and so you can make the trade-off if you prefer a community of people uh, trying to make cool things so you can make your browser better. Or you can go for speed. And so if you're going for speed, you'd either choose Safari 5.1 or Internet Explorer 9. And if you're looking for extensions and themes, etc., I'd look at Firefox 7 or Google Chrome 15. One thing to note with Firefox and Chrome 15, uh, that they are constantly coming up with new uh, releases of their things. Google Chrome has only been out for a few years and there's already been 15 builds. And recently Firefox has uh, moved on to a rapid build sh schedule. And so Firefox 8 will be soon released. Uh, Intel Explorer is also releasing a lot. Uh, Although not as rapidly as releasing browsers as with Chrome and Firefox, it is releasing it quite rapidly, so I'm sure sometime soon we're going to see Internet Explorer 10. Uh, Safari 5.1, so I'm sure there'll be a 5.2 at some point with various improvements. Um, and Safari 6, I suspect that'll be quite a while away. So thanks for watching this video, hopefully it was interesting to you. Please subscribe, please check out our Twitter, and please check out technologetic.com. Thanks for watching.